It had been three and a half years since the sun last erupted in fury, at the peak of an 11-year cycle of solar flare-ups. Sunspots appeared unexpectedly. Over a period of two and a half weeks, scientists recorded 17 solar outbursts, including the largest emission of solar X-rays ever seen. Slamming into Earth's upper atmosphere, solar particles damaged 28 communication satellites and destroyed two. A newly installed GPS-based air navigation system went down for 30 hours. Here is the sequence of eruptions, courtesy of the newly launched Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, or SOHO. Sweeping past Mars, the solar blast was so strong that it burned out the radiation monitor aboard the spacecraft Mars Global Surveyor. Ironically, this instrument was designed to study radiation that human explorers might encounter on future missions beyond Earth. The same pulse of solar energy was recorded by the two Voyager spacecraft on their way to the far reaches of the solar system. While solar storms are not dangerous to people, they can pose a significant threat to our increasingly power and technology dependent world. A recent estimate published by the National Academy of Sciences held that an outburst could cause damage of one to two trillion dollars in the first year alone, rivaling the cost of the worst hurricanes or earthquakes. The risk starts with the fleet of satellites that orbit the Earth. as well as the sprawling complex of air travel, dependent on satellite GPS navigation. It extends to a vast network of electronic, phone and internet wires that knit together and define modern life. It's not only the cost of repairing and replacing damaged components, but the loss of business and government services extending over the years it takes to recover. The problem is not limited to higher latitudes. Scientists have found that solar plasma can amplify a band of electrical current that orbits the Earth, snaking its way above equatorial regions. This equatorial electrojet can provoke spikes of electrical current on the ground, posing risks to electrical grids that may not be set up to handle them. The more integrated and global our technological infrastructure becomes, the more vulnerable it is. This realization has led scientists in the last two decades to launch a fleet of new generation spacecraft designed to closely monitor the sun. They've taken up positions in low Earth orbit to measure incoming solar particles 
and their interaction with our atmosphere. And they are circling out in interplanetary space to track solar activity in unprecedented detail. These spacecraft are documenting solar activity in wavelengths up and down the electromagnetic spectrum. With all this data flowing in, scientists are drawing an increasingly complex picture of the Sun and its inner workings. Their aim is to predict solar eruptions more accurately than ever before, and to usher in a whole new era in space weather forecasting.